health champion, Chef George here on the Georgia Live Cooking Show. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you how to make macadamia milk. But before we do that, make sure you hit the link below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're here again, thank you. If this is your first time, make sure you hit the link below, subscribe, let the world know because we're impacting and changing lives one taste better at a time with the world famous George's all purpose barbecue sauces, rubs, and amazing mostly plant based recipes. So here we go. We have four simple ingredients. So we have about a half a tablespoon of monk fruit. As you can see, we got some monk fruit. Now, you can also use the before we get to that though, here is a cup of macadamia nuts. And we also have four cups of distilled water. Bing, bing, bing. And we also have, we're gonna use a dash of pink salt. Now getting back to this monk fruit, we didn't have any dates in the house, so we're gonna use a half a tablespoon of monk fruit. You don't have to use any kind of any kind of sugar. You could also just go plate completely plain. Also, you could add some vanilla if you'd like to. So it's all preference. Even you can make it make it a chocolate milk with macadamia. So here we go as we're gonna mix all the ingredients. Okay guys, so we're back. We did about two minutes with the Vitamix blender. We added all the ingredients, but what I did was, instead of going with four cups of water, I went with three cups of water, a table, half a tablespoon of monk fruit, and a dash of some pink sea salt. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this bad boy through the strainer. We're gonna pour that through the strainer strain. Probably get a few, few little pieces in there, you know, on the strainer. This is really got a nice nutty flavor. It's just the right amount of consistency. And again, you don't have to use any. You don't have to use any kind of a sweetener. If you want to just be completely, quote unquote, sugar free, by all means, do that. So what we're gonna do. See, we got just a little bit of stuff, you know, that's kind of came out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pour this into a glass container. See how creamy that is? It's real creamy, nice and creamy. And it should, it should stay in the refrigerator for about, you know, uh, a week at the most. You know what the ingredients are. They're all natural. There's no additives. There's no junk in it. It's just macadamia, nuts, sea salt, a little monk fruit. And again, you don't have to do the monk fruit. You can go completely. You don't even have to do the salt. For those of you that might have some salt sensitivity or even sugar sensitivity, you can go completely. Just do the, just do the three cups of water and just blend it up about two minutes. In a, in a high speed blender, I use the Vitamixer. Also, if you want, you can even kick it up a notch by adding some vanilla to it, or you can make it chocolate milk by adding cacao powder or, or cocoa powder, and you can make chocolate milk with it. You know, cover it up, ref refrigerate it, boom. There you have it, real simple, real easy. You know what's in it. The kiddos will love it. It's delicious, it's creamy. You can put it on any kind of you can put it on your oatmeal, you can put it You can put it in your cereal, you can make it with your smoothies, whatever. Awesome, healthy, and it's great for you. So with that said, guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure again that you hit the link below, subscribe, let the world know we're impacting and changing lives one taste one at a time with the world famous George's all-purpose barbecue sauces, rubs, and mostly plant-based recipes. You guys are awesome. Until next time, I'm Chef George. You guys are awesome. God bless. Fire it up.